What's up, ZBrushers? Welcome back to Z Fever. My name is Ricky, and today I'm going to be going over a little method inside of ZBrush with uh, a Ray Mesh and the Z Modeler. All right. So last night I went and watched uh, the new Mad Max uh, Fury Road, and aside from it pretty much melting my face off, um, I was intrigued by. Uh, some of the steering wheels that they had inside of the movie. Uh, so I've been making a couple of objects. I got this other one over here. It is all up in our face. Um, and so I created this by utilizing a ray mesh and uh, the Z modeler. So I figured, you know what? This would be a cool little thing cool little challenge to uh, come up with something uh, interesting so I wanted to show you guys uh, how how to use this uh, so let's do that so I'm just grabbing a basic primitive right just a ZBrush primitive remember with the ZBrush primitive it's not a polymesh 3d just yet so what I can do while I have this primitive is I can use this initialize to get some things out of this so what I've done is I've just set this down I want a low 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 uh, density so once I'm satisfied with this I will go ahead and make sure it's polymesh 3d and the next thing I want to do is turn on symmetry but I want to make sure that it's active in all fields X Y and Z so that we can work smarter not harder right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, manipulate this a little bit turn it into something a little bit interesting hopefully <laughs> so let's see what we can come up with here and all I'm really gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be making uh, one part, right? So I'm going to move this. No. Move. There we go. Thank you, ZBrush. <laughs> to uh, Q mesh this out. Go ahead and inset this again. I like this. I like having like a little step stepping, you know. And then we'll go ahead and cumish this out. Uh, probably about two times. Go out just a little bit further. Okay. And then the next one, I'm just going to tap it, and it's going to go the same distance. Before I get too far, though, I want to still want to do something here. So let's see, what can we do? We'll do an insert. Then another insert. Sure, we got everything. Go ahead and Q mesh this out. And let's see, what can we do? What can we do? Set each poly. Okay, that's interesting. Mesh polygroup all. Okay, that's kind of cool. Then we'll follow it up by uh, we'll do a, I guess, a scale, right? Yeah, let's do that.
complete edge loop might be helpful. There we go. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and bevel this just to help it out a little bit. There we go. Go ahead and turn off perspective. Now I want to start addressing this curve, right? So if we're making like a steering wheel, we want to um, treat it as such. And all we're doing really is just making um, one part, right? And then we're going to use that part to make more parts. So at this point, I'm just using my transpose line. back just kind of move this around just to kind of help it out a little bit and then let's see what else do I want to do before I go crazy with this chances are these are probably going to cause a little bit of an issue but that'll be all right so what I want to do at this point is I want to start thinking about creasing before I get too far down the line. So I'm just going to do a groups by normals uh, so that ZBrush will uh, work for me. Now I've gone through and I've done that, but I also need to do one more thing because if I'm going to be using array mesh and I want to utilize these end caps, right? I need to Uh, turn everything off except for Y. Right there we go. Um, I need to make sure that these in caps are the same poly group. So what I want to do is just select these with the select lasso. Right. Have that, and I'm just going to hit Control W on the keyboard so they both wind up the same. There we go. All right. So with that taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and crease by poly groups. So I'm going to go down to crease, set this level to say something like 4, and my uh, tolerance to about 90. I'm going to go ahead and crease by poly group. And uh, this might collapse on itself. Let's see. Yep, it sure did. But uh, I'm not going to go crazy uh, fixing that right now because. Uh, What I really want to get to is the uh, Z modeler, or not Z modeler, the array mesh. Okay, so let's bring that back up. Let's go ahead and turn on array mesh. So whenever I do this, I have the repeat set to two. Uh, it is repeating, but the uh, additional piece of geometry is just residing in the same exact spot. So I'm going to set this up to six, and I want to change a few things. So if I change the rotation like in the Z, it's going to rotate that way. Change it in the Y, it's going to rotate around the Y. What I want to do is change the rotation in the X. Then I want to change the pivot The Z, right? So that should be good. I could probably increase it a little bit, but I'm not going to go too crazy. Um, so we're going to call that good. And so now what I want to do is I just want to make this a mesh, but the first thing I want to do is make sure that if I have close on because if I don't, and I go to close and I go to finish it, it's going to leave a gap right there, right? I'm going to turn it on. You can set an angle tolerance for it. Right now it's at 45 degrees. Um, you can widen that or uh, make it more narrow. And I'm just going to go ahead and say make mesh. You can see that everywhere that I had a matching poly group, it went through and filled in those holes. Right. So now I have this steering wheel thing. Right. 
and I want to continue working on it uh, but you can see that it's been adjusted you know this is the center still so the fastest way to fix that is to adjust it under the deformation tab if you just hit unify it's going to squash any model that you have uh, into this square so you're gonna see it drop in size obviously um, but that's not a big deal I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this in the X by uh, 90 degrees or maybe not where are we at actually we want to rotate in the Z There we go. It's good, it's good, it's good. Alright, so. And now you can just come back through with, um. With your Z modeler. You can even come back with, let's say. Let's say I want to add, like, a little hub in here. So I can go to, um. This, and let's say. Let's grab a cylinder, right, and let's change the size on this. Bring it down a little bit. It's just the size and the Y. Make it a little more friendly. Okay, but the thing is that uh, we need to be able to mesh this all together. So what we can do is go back up to this guy and say I want to merge down. Yes, I want to merge down. All right. Now I've got to get these things sorted out. So what I can do is set an edge loop here search and then I could just start um, finagling this thing turn back on my symmetry and I could just start grabbing um, polys and bridging them right so I'm grab here bridge it over to there grab there bridge it to there granted it's not the most interesting thing in the world but you know if you had a concept going in we definitely go a long way, right? So now you can come through and clean things up, set creases. I mean, you can even use this to make like a like a wheel or something like that. I mean, obviously this is a steering wheel, but I mean, you can come through and make like a wheel for a car. Or, anything you want right I'm sure with enough thought you can make a unicorn so um that's just a uh, little quick workflow I think it'd be cool to uh, see what you guys can come up with um, and I definitely highly recommend going to see uh, Mad Max it was it was actually a pretty entertaining show um, non-stop action from the get-go uh, can't I'm probably gonna go see it again anyway um, if you're new uh, please subscribe I hope this was helpful for you guys that have been here for a bit I want to thank you for uh, sticking with me uh, you're you're the main reason that this uh, channel is growing and I sincerely appreciate it so um, please subscribe definitely check out the Facebook group if you look up Z fever we are there 
and uh, I do regularly make announcements. I'm going to be posting an announcement for uh, a hangout this weekend, so be looking out for the times. Uh, it was really cool to see everybody this past weekend and sit down and talk to you guys about workflows and things like that and share ideas. So, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are having a great week and happy ZBrushing, guys. Take care.